My name is Richard Cole. Uh, I don't know why I'm famous. Lieutenant Colonel Richard Cole says he was just doing his job, but the job turned out to be one of the most courageous achievements in United States military history. I'm very proud to have been a member of the Doolittle Ray. Now it can be told, history in the making. It became known as the Doolittle Raid, the surprise bombing of Japan just months after the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. Cole was the co-pilot with the mission's commander, the famous flyer Jimmy Doolittle. The operations officer said, uh, I'll cool you up with the old man, and if you do okay, you got yourself a pilot. In the Pacific Ocean, on board the U.S. Hornet, Admiral Bull Halsey announced the men would bomb Japan. There was a lot of jubilation and jumping up and down. After that, we got kind of flat. Cole and the men watched as Colonel Doolittle attached medals to a bomb previously given by Japan before the war to the ship's commander. But the fleet was spotted by Japanese fishing boats, which were then sunk. The fear they could have notified Japan. And now the signal is flashed for the takeoff. Ten hours ahead of schedule. I don't know about other people, but I was scared all the time. Doolittle pilots the lead plane. There's a breathless moment as the big bomber gathers speed. That's Doolittle and Cole in the first plane off the Hornet. Flying a bomber off a carrier had never been done before. Actually, uh, it turned out to be one of the easiest things. I looked down and thought, well, we have just separated ourselves from civilization. The movie, 30 Seconds Over Tokyo, based on a book by one of the raiders, captures the drama. Here, Plane 7, ruptured duck, roars into Tokyo. There we are, the big red smokestack. Pilot to Bombardier, approaching Shimona. I'm on it. The bombing raids, despite minor damage, succeeded in boosting morale back home in the USA. Go away! I felt pretty good that we had done what we were supposed to do. But the early departures caused all the Doolittle planes to run out of gas. Crews had to crash land. Many, like Richard Cole, had a parachute out. Do you consider yourself a hero? No. Before the attack, Doolittle promised all a party, and the crews that survived World War II kept up the tradition. A ceremonial goblet was turned over each year after the passing of a raider. In 2013, with just four men left alive, Lieutenant Colonel Cole gave the final toast. I propose a toast to those we lost on the mission and those who have passed away since. Thank you very much, and may they rest in peace. Lieutenant Colonel Richard Cole outlived the other 79 Doolittle Raiders, brave aviators all who shocked Japan in making military history.